When I had a workshop in Boston uh, at, at the end of last year, uh, uh, discussing with, with freedom fighters from different, different countries in the world, it was the center for uh, nonviolent uh, struggle. They were so serious that I told them, you gave me a paper to sign. I told them, look, freedom is in, as oxygen in big quantity is dangerous for you. So first of all, raise your hand whether you are healthy and you declare that you wouldn't blame me when something will happen with you after my speech, okay? Okay, they didn't follow, so I told them, raise your hand and go out of the hall. I'm serious. We are in America. I have to have a declaration. Secondly, I told them, look, why you are so sad and serious? We had, we understand, and we passed through different stages. I am country champion in hunger strike. I resisted 11 months. I am now 100. Unfortunately, I want to be 90. I was arrested as 90 kilogram guy. I am 1 meter 90. And I decreased till 54 or 56. So I lost 36 kilograms. And I survived. I survived. I, I, I took vitamins and water, but nothing else. I survived 11 months. I resisted till the end of my third arrest. 11 months. So I told them, look, I was five or four times just crying from laughing jail. It, freedom is something we can enjoy. We had a lot of fun making conspiration against rats. Don't be so serious and pathetic. Think about the future. You have to take a certain distance to yourself. You can't present yourself as a hero and ask other colleagues or comrades, be a hero. No, be tough, resist. When you, when you avoid something which is our secret, Tell, first of all, your friends that, unfortunately, you fall victim of your own, uh, own uh, weakness. Don't be more discreet and more intimate with your prosecutors than with us. Understand the, the spirit of brotherhood, the spirit of community. So being within a circle of a real community of fighters it's a pleasure. All the people who were participating in more bloody and more awful conditions than myself had a lot of joy. People who were taking part in Warsaw Rising, hopeless political initiative in which we were struggling with Soviets, with Germans, and Soviets were, were just waiting for our defeat. But still those people here had weddings, jokes, a special satire tradition. They were enjoying freedom. So that's a lesson of my generation, not to be too serious or more serious that the conditions are demanding us. Don't exaggerate with this, uh, with this, uh, with this political or patriotic pathos. Be, be, uh, take it as a, as, a, as a chance for a fantastic, lovely life. Because to win them is a satisfaction. When I survive some hard times, I am just more healthy. That's, that's a chance for each of us to train ourselves, not how to hit someone, how to receive hits without being, uh, being uh, wounded spiritually, intellectually, morally. So I enjoy my past because my past is helping me in my present.